Hello, math magicians. We are going to solve a quadratic using the new method. We're going to end up with complex solutions. So here's our original problem. 5x squared plus 9 is equal to negative x plus 8. So first, we want to put this in standard form. So 5x squared, I'm going to add x to both sides and subtract 8 from both sides. Now we have standard form. The next thing we want is a to be 1, very similar to how we do this in completing the square. So we end up with some fractions here, x squared plus 1 fifth x plus 1 fifth is equal to 0. Now what we want to do is find out what x bar is. Remember that x bar is essentially the axis of symmetry equation, which is the opposite of b over 2a. So now the opposite of b, and b in this case is 1 fifth, all over 2 times 1. So in the end here, we get negative 1 tenth. All right, another thing to remember is that r is going to be x bar minus u, and s is going to be x bar plus u. OK, so now those two multiply. So x bar minus u times x bar plus u are going to multiply to be the value of c, which in this case is the 1 fifth. So that goes right there. OK. Substitute, well, remember that uh, conjugates here multiply to be a difference of squares. x bar squared minus u squared is equal to 1 fifth. And from here, I can substitute in the negative 1 tenth in for x bar. And we get this. And now I'm going to simplify. So I get 1 over 100 minus u squared and equals, just to cl uh, clean this up here, when I multiply this by 20, I get 20 over 100, because I'm going to subtract 1 over 100th from both sides. So now I have negative u squared is equal to 19 over 100. Take the opposite of both sides, so u squared is equal to negative 19 over 100. And when we take the square root of both sides, we get this. The square root of a negative becomes i, so we have the i, we have the square root of 19, and nice enough, the 100 there, the square root is a 10. So what do we do now? We have to take that u, and I messed up there. Let me change that to just a u. And I also have a plus or minus there. So I'm going to take that i, radical 19 over 10, and I'm going to substitute in up here. So here is negative 1 tenth plus radical 19 over 10 times i. And s is going to be negative 1 tenth minus radical 19 over 10 times i. And here are my two solutions.